Despite the many changes taking place in Rioja, most vintners still rely on classic label terminology to identify each bottling. Well, the way the Rioja categorizes uh, wine aging regimens is uh, as follows. You have first that you have Hoban wines, which are wines that see uh, very little oak or no oak at all. They're meant to be released almost right away, six months, eight months after harvest, ten months. And um, these are the fresh young wines. These are the wines that the, the locals are drinking you know, on their way home with tapas, with their friends. You, know, they, you can buy a glass of uh, Hoven for you know, less than a dollar, basically. And then um, moving up in terms of uh, age and, and also price, you have Crianza, which means uh, a, a wine with breeding. The thing about Crianza is that they're about fruit and uh, accessibility. Crianzas are the kind of wines that you'd bring to a dinner party or maybe like a party party and open up and like it's probably going to get drunk first because they're just really bright, accessible, easygoing wines. Reservas, however, uh, see a little bit more time in bottle, generally more time in oak, but Reservas are a little bit more serious wines. This is the benchmark wine of, of Rioja. These are the wines upon which Rioja bodegas stake their reputations. Grand Reserva is only made in, in, uh, in special vintages. These, are this, these wines spend more, even more time in oak, even more time in bottle, and these are kind of like the special occasion wines. Now this, uh, this system of, of, of age classification is something that's relatively new to, to the region, and there are some who, who are not using it, who, who are choosing not to put it on. Who they, who, so there are some people who feel like it's, it's not really necessary anymore. But I think, it's a, I think for, for the beginner who comes into Rioja to discover it for the first time, I think they're really, uh, they're really great indicators of what you're going to find. Crianza, you're going to find fruit, a little bit of oak, a lot of character, accessibility. Reserva, you're going to find a little bit more serious wine. You're going to find a great food wine, something that you would serve at a sit-down dinner party as opposed to maybe a cocktail party. And Gran Reservas are the ones that you bring to people you want to impress or on a date, you know, you order it on a date, you know, with a girl you want to impress, uh, whatever. But uh, Gran Reservas are just more serious wines, and these are wines that are meant to uh, just show a little bit more seductive, elegant character. And... Um, the great thing about the age classification system, I think, is the fact that you pretty much know that when it's on the market, that bodega is saying, drink me, we're ready to drink. So you don't have to age it, you know. These aging terms help guide consumers, directing them to the style of wine they like. The Gran Reservas are costly, of course, a reflection of the time invested in them. But what's so astonishing about Rioja is the great value at the lower end. A bottle of Campo Vieja Crianza that costs as little as $8 will have identifiable Rioja character and deliver remarkable quality for the price. Given that the winery produces 15,000 bottles an hour, you can't help but wonder how they maintain such high standards. Todo comienza en el viñedo. Nosotros estamos controlando un montón de hectáreas de viñedo. Um de una manera tremendamente exhaustiva, es decir, hay, una, hay un departamento que es el de viñedo, eh, la gente está todo el día en el campo, yo estoy todo el día en el campo prácticamente ¿no? hasta que ya empiezo la, la elaboración, y llevamos un control tremendamente exhaustivo, eh, todos los días eh, sabemos exactamente qué uva es la que vamos a recibir, de dónde proviene y cuál es en principio el destino por marca, Obviamente en cada depósito sabemos, conocemos exactamente cuál es la uva que tiene, por qué hemos decidido que sea esa uva. Todos los días, a pesar de que la magnitud ¿no? del número de depósitos que tenemos, todos los días se catan y se analizan los depósitos. Y cada uno de esos días vamos tomando las decisiones sobre esos depósitos. Posteriormente, una vez que tenemos el vino, seguimos digamos, eh, organizándolo. ¿no? Decidimos lo que entra en barrica y lo que no. ¿A qué tipo de barrica? ¿Roble francés? ¿Roble americano? ¿De qué edad? Eh, tenemos 70.000 barricas, pero eh, cada dos meses eh, hacemos un chequeo total de todas, tanto de cata como de analítica, y vamos siguiendo su evolución. Aquí nada se hace sistemáticamente, es decir, yo mmm, utilizo una expresión, ¿no? por ejemplo, cuando estamos en fermentación tenemos 140 fermentadores, pero para mí cada fermentador es un hijo único, es decir, lo cuido y lo mimo todos y cada uno de los días que lo tengo, que lo tengo en danza, ¿no? y eso rige absolutamente en todos los puntos del proceso. Entonces, eh, en fin, me encantan ¿no? esos comentarios ¿no? de, sobre la calidad de Campo Viejo, porque desde luego esa calidad no es gratuita, es decir, es la suma de un montón de pequeñas decisiones que están basadas en un montón de pequeños detalles.